Officers are already back on the job in Wilmer and Hutchins after a vehicle slid into them and two other first responders at an accident scene. Dramatic dash cam and body cam videos captured it all. CBS 11's JD Miles is live from I 20 near I 45, where one of the injured officers described the frightening crash, JD. Vilma, it's unbelievable that none of the four men injured suffered life threatening injuries. When you see the videos, we're about to show you. It's the view from a Wilmer police patrol car pointed at an accident scene on I-20 Saturday morning. Two officers and two firefighters were standing by another patrol car waiting for a tow truck. When out of nowhere, an SUV veers off the freeway and slams right into them. We all flew for a bit, landed on the ground. Wilmer officer Alexander Lopez was one of those injured. He can be seen here landing on the freeway. His own body cam also captured the brutal force of the impact. Honestly, it, it, at that moment, it's indescribable. You just don't know what happened or, or what's hurting or what hits you or anything. It's just, I mean, in the blink of an eye, you just know that this vehicle's coming at you. Lopez suffered only some cuts on his elbows and bruises on his body. One of the firefighters sustained broken ribs, but all survived. And Lopez is already walking the streets again in uniform. But you're back at work already. I am back at work, yeah. I, I, I don't know what to tell you about that. You know, I'm not a superhuman or anything like that, but like I said, at the end of the day, you know, we do what we have to do. And the driver of the SUV was not injured, and the accident remains under investigation. Wilmer police say it's the second recent incident involving a parked emergency vehicle on a freeway. Texas has a law requiring drivers to slow down and move over a lane, but Lopez says it's being ignored. See, anytime you're out there on an accident team, you got to have, it, have your head on a swivel, and it's always a dangerous, scary situation. Now, the move over law can understandably be difficult to enforce, but it does come with a $250 fine. Today is another day that can be dangerous for emergency vehicles. We just drove down a stretch of I-20, and there are some spots where you can still easily lose control. Live in southeast Dallas County, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.